Hey yo, what's poppin' with what you do? Know? It's your boy Carol, and we are back with yet a new Pokemon Sun and Moon information video about all the new information we got in the last couple of days, and it is just insane. Like, I want to wait at least the one day because we might have gotten information from Japan that would be different in English, and lo and behold, we got a whole bunch of information that's different from the Japanese stuff, as more as a whole bunch of other things. So. The first thing on the list to talk about is that Lycanroc has a new exclusive Z move. It is called Splintered Storm Shards in English. I think it's like called like Radial Edge Storm in Japanese. But regardless, it's a Z move signature for the Lycanroc forms. All three of them can use it. And it's essentially an upgrade Stone Edge that not only does damage, but also takes away terrains. Like, so if you're, let's say, your opponent has a Tabu Coco out, you use the Splinter Storm Shards, it will do a crap ton of damage to the Tabu Coco and instantly end his terrain. Now, I'm not sure how much this really matters in OU because while one, Midnight like Rock is absolute fucking trash. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry for swearing so much, but like, I don't know, like midday like or midnight like rock is pretty much trash. Midday like in rock is good in sandstorms, but that's about it. And then we don't know much about midnight our dust form yet, but I think dust form is honestly just gonna be in between the two. Like maybe dust form be like an R U, uh, midnight N U or R U, and then I think midday is also pretty much down there. But midday actually has a niche in U U and O U for sand teams. So regardless, all three of ours of like and rock can know this move. And you know that's pretty cool. Like you know, I like I, I pretty much assumed that because like again going back to my last video we were talking about the Como Z move. I said uh, my predictions were that Lycanroc was going to get a Z move, Mimikyu will get one, and then possibly Token Emerge because the, on the original trailer they all had their own like special cutscene animations. And I was like, okay, well it makes sense for Lycanroc. It makes sense for Mimikyu. Token Tomorrow is kind of a bad Pokemon in single, so I don't see it. But maybe Token Tomorrow will get one too. But so far, my prediction is right, so expect a Mimikyu Z move as well. So let's, let's jump into the next piece of information. We now have confirmation of Necrozma's forms. because And that's another thing. They're not so Goli and Lunala new forms. They are Necrozma new forms, just like Kiram. So the Necrozma new forms, so the one with Sol Golia fused, is going to be called Necrozma Dusk Main or Dusk Main Necrozma. Well... The Lunala version of it is called Necrozma Dawn Wings or Dawn Wings Necrozma, which is a different name than the, again, the Japanese one, because the Japanese one was like Necrozma The Main of Twilight, and then Necrozma The Wings of Dawn. Like, those sound like Yu-Gi-Oh card names, but like, someone make a Yu-Gi-Oh card and call it, I summon Necrozma The Wings of Dawn in defense mode. Like, come on, that sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card, but Necrozma Dawn Wings is a little bit better, but still kind of weird, but... Regardless, it is shown as well that just like um, Kiram, the fusion isn't really like, it's not like, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Goten, and Trunks fusion. It's kind of more like Super Buu or Cell, where it's like an absorption kind of thing. It's a forceful fusion, or it's a forceful absorb. Like, Lola and Sogo Leo do not want any part of Necrozma, and Necrozma's like, no, bitch, you're coming into me. So, um, like, we got parts of the trailer, like, I guess, like, I, th I think this part's part of the, like, actual intro for the game, like, if you let the screen wait too long, it goes to, like, the intro, and it shows, like, Nug Lunala and Sol Goldie, like, on this, like, big rock, it looks like they're about to face off into Necrozma, and Necrozma just puts his big old black hands around, and he just snatches them up, like, he just clutches them, right, like, just snaps them right into his hands, and then he starts glowing, and then it's the new form, so, and then we also got part of the video where it's owing the actual story mode, like the difference with the story mode. So then, you know, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, you go to the altar of Sun and Moon, you know, and then Cosmo turns into Luminal or Solgaleo, and then you're just kind of there for a second. Well, in this game, it shows that when that happens, Necrozma comes down, and he, like, they, they fight each other. Like, Luminal or Solgaleo, like, starts to attack Necrozma. He, like, takes the attack, and he just takes one of his big-ass hands, and just slams Sogo Leo and Lunala right to the ground. Like, he grabs them by their freaking heads and slams them into the ground and then forcefully absorbs them. Like, it, it's it's not something they want. It, it is not something they want. It also reminds me of, like, the whole, like, Super Boo thing from back from, um, 
Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, where it's like, he's like looking around, he's like, I found you. Like. <laughs> Like, damn, like, just, just snatching these guys up, they don't want any part of this, but, like, poor Lunala, poor Sogalia, they are, they are snatched right up, it's not a fun absorption at all, but, you know, whatever. And now the third big thing, which is, like, the big, big, big piece of news for me, is that for the first time in Pokemon history, the third game in the installment actually has brand new Pokemon, so, um... Usually in the in the third case, we don't get new Pokemon. We, that the most we get new forms. Like Crystal didn't have any new Pokemon. Emerald didn't have. Well, Emerald had the like, Deoxys Speed form, but that's not a new Pokemon. It's just a new form. Platinum had Sky Form Shaman and Giratina Origin. Again, those are just new forms. Uh, Black Two White Two had like the Lander's Theory and the Therian forms and Kieran Black White and stuff like that. So, you know, these aren't new Pokemon. These are just new forms. But in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, we got brand new Pokemon. They're new Ultra Beast. One of them is called Ultra Beast Burst. And this thing has like, it has like almost like a Nihiligo head, but then it has like a whole bunch of like little like dots all around it and a big eye on the top I look like, or or on the back maybe. I'm not really sure because you can't, there's only so much footage of it so far. And it looks like a pretty fancy Ultra Beast. It also like throws its head at the opponent, which then explodes. Like it's insane. I'm not sure what type of Pokemon this is. It looks like it could be a fighting type. But I really, really hope it's not a fighting type just because we already have two fighting type Ultra Beasts. Um, also, just by how colorful it is, I also could see this thing being like a fairy type Pokemon. Like, uh, like it's because it's like white, it's pink, it's light blue, it has yellow. It's, it's just so colorful, it seems like a fairy type to me. Could be a fairy type Ultra Beast. That'd be pretty dang insane. Or even a fairy fight type Ultra Beast. So you have moves like Play Rough, but you also have High Jump Kick and stuff like that. But then again, the way it throws its heads also makes you think it might be a special attacker. So I'm definitely leaning towards the fairy typing for me. And the other new Pokemon, another new Ultra Beast as well, is called Ultra Beast Assembly. We don't know these these Pokemon's actual names, we just know the code names right now. So it's Ultra Beast first, and the new one is Ultra Beast Assembly. Which seems to be a whole bunch of tiny Ultra Beasts, like, like kind of just like coming together, kind of like Magnemite to Magneton. Like, there's like a whole bunch of these little like cubes with little eyes and stuff like that, but they all like go together to make this gigantic brick wall. So it's probably going to be a very, very, very defensive Pokemon. Um, it might know some moves like Iron Defense. It might even get Recover. Like, it looks like it could be like a Rock or a Steel type or something like that. But then again, with Ultra Beast, you never really know their typings until they're confirmed. Because, think about it, like, if you, when we first saw Nihiligo, I don't think a single person out there would have thought that thing looks like a rock type Pokemon. It also looks like a poison type Pokemon. Rock poison, that's what Nihiligo is. Like, that's probably not what we saw. Like, even like the first time we saw Kartana, you probably didn't think it was going to be a grass type Pokemon. And then Celesteela, like, it's it's based on the Bamboo Princess. And, you know, it gets me like Leech Seed, Seed Bomb, Giga Drain. And then so you're thinking, okay, it's definitely a grass type Pokemon. It even has a green coloring to it, but it's a steel and flying type Pokemon. So it's like, with a lot of the Ultra Beasts, you don't know their typings until you actually see them. So there's no way, this thing could be a stone wall, but it might not be rock type or steel type at all. This thing could be like fire type for all we know. It could, it does not have to look like it is. So, and then again, Ultra Beast Burst looks like a fairy type to me, but again, we never know until we get the moves or not the moves, but also getting the typings ourselves in the game, so set the way on top of that, but that also gives you new hope, because you know, these are just two new Ultra Beasts, and they also play part in the story, we could have more Ultra Beasts, there could be a whole other batch of Ultra Beasts, there could be new forms, like, other than like the whole like, Necrozma Dawn Wings and Necrozma Dust Mane, like, there's a whole bunch to talk about right now, there's also some small things like, you know, um, the Rock Ruff that can evolve into Dust Form, the Event Rock Ruff, it has to have the ability Own Temple, which is only an event ability, it's not a hidden ability, it's not either its other two abilities, and it has to evolve in like a certain hour period, like I think it's like 1700 to 1759, it has to evolve in that small time period, and it also has to have that ability, so it's a very small chance to actually get it, so, you know, that's kind of insane, like, that's pretty specific, like you'd have to be like, waiting for that specific time to evolve your Rock Ruff with that special ability. Because even if it has that special ability, you evolve it to the other one. 
in like any other time of the day, it's going to evolve into midday or midnight. So it's like, that's a very small time period. As well as if you buy Pokemon Gold and Silver versions on the Virtual Console, you will get a special code to download Celebi for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or Pokemon Sun and Moon, depending on which game you want to put it in. So, you know, a lot of Pokemon information from the Nintendo Direct, but that just about does it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I I didn't really care too, too much about the whole Lycan Rock thing, because it was kind of like, whoa, to me. And then, like, you got the whole, like, Necrozma, like, new forms like the names of them stuff like that but we already kind of like assumed like it's gonna be no cross before it's not like miles so that's so again like it's kind of like whoa but then like you see like these new ultra beasts for the first time in pokemon history the third game has actual brand new pokemon and that just made me go like whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. like it is so different and it's so insane that this game actually has some sort of reason to be hyped for it now because before this we had no reason to be hyped for this game but now with new pokemon and all this new information we actually have reasons to be hyped so either way like comment subscribe Kara Kara studio and i will see you guys for the next video i make and i hope you enjoyed this information discuss in the comments below what you guys think about this are you excited for new shiny locked ultra beasts are you excited for probably more shiny locked stuff or these new legendaries and all ultra beasts and stuff like that and if you want to talk with me specifically join my discord link is in the description down below so join that discord now and i'm out